Yes, I'm here to agree with our uh, shadow treasurer, uh, Wayne Swan, on the um, comments made by Rupert, uh, Rupert Rock Models. Um, there are two issues here. One is, of course, the um, social mobility. The other is uh, wealth inequality. The Australia usually, the Australians, I'm one of them, uh, will like to see our society to be fair. That means while you work hard, you make a lot of money. That is what we want to promote. But we also do not want to see a handful of people owning a large trunk of Australia. So the, the wealth distribution, the, the wealth inequality is something we need to look at. The other thing is, of course, uh, we want to see social mobility. If you work hard, you can uh, move up from a lower class into an upper class. In order to do that, that means we will, we will need a good public education as well as a affordable university education. Now, wealthy kids can always go to the uh, private schools where they can spend their money, get a better quality of education. But in order to provide the social mobilities, this is where the public school comes in. Public schools should be free to, for everybody and with the kind of quality which can match with the private schools. So that means sufficient funding to our public schools is important to provide a social mobility possibility opportunities to anybody who is willing to work hard and have the talent to do so. On the other hand, the uh, US education is also the same. Nowadays, we are into a information era, a basic degree is almost a must you want to move in the social class. So if the US TV becomes too much, then a young people will have a large debt before they start working. Well, uh, the, a lot of the today's politicians have benefited from free education or free USD education. So I think that should be continued. We should maintain our universities as a low fee. That means government have to put in more money to universities in order to give our uh, poor par uh, families whose children has the potential to finish the edu uh, US education, to allow them to finish the education without a huge burden on the rest of their life. That is on the part of social mobilities. Uh, taxation also have uh, more than one purpose. For example, one purpose is taxation for uh, getting the money needed by governments to do the things that the government needs to do. But another function of taxation is obviously in handling the wealth uh, inequality. Uh, a taxation system can be a system whereby we provide a fairer society. Most of the taxation system in the rest of the world operates also on this principle. And that's why we can see lower income people's tax rate is lower than the uh, people with higher income. The people with higher income usually will have a higher tax rate. In the 50s and 60s, the highest back rate of the income in United States, I'm talking about United States, the higher, higher bracket is 90%. Can you believe it? It's 90%. That means those very rich people who earn $100 they will be taxed 90 and have $10 in their pocket. I don't see any reason why this is bad. This is, this, after a certain amount, the amount of money you make doesn't give you more happiness. So, of course, if you are poor, then when your daily bread is in question, then you can't talk about happiness. But once a certain minimum is reached, then a, a, a one dollar or two dollar more doesn't make any difference in terms of happiness. So in order to 
provide the government with more funds and lower the whole society's cost of tax, we can actually think about increasing the rates of tax at the higher income brackets. The other thing is, of course, is the inherent tax. Um, there's no inherent uh, moral reason why a child can benefit from his parents' hard work. Well, if a wealthy child already have a very good start in life already, so um, the in inheritance from his or her parents is obviously just a icing on this on the on the cake. So I would suggest we should increase the inheritance tax as well, because that will make uh, the country uh, less um, in in equal in terms of wealth. That's my suggestion. Okay, if uh, our future treasurer can watch this video, please take it into account. Thank you. Bye-bye.